What's up, YouTube? This is Some Guys, Some Game, and I am back here in Stationers. Uh, the sun should be coming over the horizon here any moment now. Actually, I think as I'm saying that, it is coming up. So that is great timing. Alright, I wanted to go ahead and show quickly the battery setup I did since the last video. I went ahead and chained a couple of these together. You want to use the heavy cable between them because it's going to transfer a lot of power. And uh, what it's going to go ahead and do, if you don't see the lights on, make sure you got them on. But if you don't see the lights coming on on the side, that's fine. It's because it's transferring all the power to the front one. Once this one's charged, it will start sending it to this one and then to this one and so on. So don't freak out if you're not seeing lights on them or anything. As long as you got it hooked up the way I'm showing you here, your power is good to go. So in my logic, I haven't messed with that. So these should be changing here soon. It all seems to be up and running good. So went ahead and hooked me up a battery charger too. <clears throat> if you haven't done that yet, that is something you're going to want to go ahead and get up and going so you can charge your batteries. Um, I just hooked it off the line here on the APU, real simple. So you just flip your switch. All right. So that's what we're going to get to here. I want to go ahead and show what you're going to need to get your atmospherics going. And uh, I went ahead and printed me off some stuff. So you're going to want three of the atmospheric units, which I currently already have down. You'll see here in a minute, and I'll tell you why I have them down already. And uh, you're also going to need four tanks. As I said, probably around 100 pipe or so. You're going to use it all. It might seem like it's a lot, but it'll it'll go quick. And then you got your volume pump, gas mixer, and two pressure regulators, as well as your filters. You can start with a water filter, but you're going to need to print you off a CO2, a nitrogen, and an oxygen. And I went ahead and made a couple pass events, a few act events, and steel sheets, frames, and wall construction kit walls so I can do my windows, all that fun stuff once I get to that. But let's get started here. The first thing I'm wanting to do is grab my tank kit. Let me flip off my light since I got me a nice bright light over here now called the sun. And I want to show you what I did. Now these can be a little finicky getting them on these frames. Um, I set up a simple, this is just the start of it, but I set up a simple 3 by 4 grid here and I went ahead and welded them all down to the first level and then I added another level of frames here on the back and you're gonna see why. Um, and then I went and put these filtration units, make sure you get the filtration not the air conditioner, and I put them one level off the ground and separated them all nicely right here and you're gonna see how I want to set all this up. So the next steps gonna be the tanks and you want to pay attention to your inputs, your outputs. The big plus here in the middle is the front of the tank where the pipes are going to hook up, so you want that aiming this way. And then I want to see, right here is right in the middle, we want it one step back. Just like that. So you got a little bit of a gap there. Alright, let's do that with all of these. Just sit them in there. Make sure you get them one step back. Alright. And next, we're going to go ahead and grab some piping. I'll show you what this looks like from the back so that you can see it kind of sticks out. Just this little notch will be sticking out the back here. All right. And lovely, lovely pipe. Might as well grab a bunch. And how you want to start doing this, I'm going to show you a quick setup. I'm going to run one here and then I'm going to cut, come back, and you know, save us some time and effort here. Well, save you some time. It's not going to save me any. But, alright. So, what we're actually going to do, this is going to be the input for the, when we put the regulators up. Which you'll see. If this doesn't make sense now, it, it'll, it'll make sense later. But, uh, right now, the filtration, we want to connect all the filtrations in a line like this. And I'm going to show you here. So, just... Let me do this real quick on this one. And I liked it better. You know, this is the setup I found that worked pretty good for me. I like the, it, it, it looks nice and compact. It all works together and you can seal it all off here in the end in these frames. So this is really, once you've done it yourself, you might figure out ways you like to do it a little better. But, all right, so filtration waste is going to come out, and it's going to go into the input on the next filter. And we're going to do the same thing here. It's going to come out, go down, come up, and come in here. And then we're going to want to connect the outputs here to the tanks. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And here's what I've went ahead and done. As you can see, I've ran pipes. You want the, to follow the line down here. Over and up. Over and up. And then this one is going to go to this last tank, which is going to hold everything that we don't filter out using our filtration system. And later, you can, you're going to want to expand this a little bit to get your furnace and some other stuff going. But for now, this would be a good basic setup. And as you can see, I went in and added the T-junction here, because this is going to be our nitrogen and oxygen filters. This is going to be our CO2, and this is going to be our water. So, what you're seeing here is going to be our main line that's going to run into our base. And you'll see what I'm talking about as I go here. But this, you need to run it like this, so you got it heading up. Because you want these to be able to connect. And then this is also going to be our water line. So, we're going to want to run this into the base. So, I went ahead and extended that a little bit just so you can tell that. And another thing I like to do, which I'll show here once I get these up, is uh, I, I like to paint some of those uh, pipes on the water line just to make sure I can see them good. Let's get this the correct way. And for this side, we are going to want a back pressure regulator. Not sure why that complained, but okay. So you want to put that on this is the setup I have here. You want to go ahead and stick that right up there. And then you can do the same thing on this side, except for you want a pressure regulator on this side. So switch her over. And if you want to see the screen there, you can do it this way. Alright because you shouldn't have any problems running the cables here that's why we've got gaps and other stuff but I'll I'll show a little bit of the wiring here in a little bit but alright so you got those two in place I went ahead and threw some of my other stuff here in my backpack alright it's getting dark hopefully this isn't gonna make it hard to see if I think it does I will go ahead and make a cut and come back but I'm gonna keep going for right now now with this thing can look a little intimidating but you want the two arrows on the sides we're gonna want that Hold on. I want to get the front of it facing me these things can be a little there we go now as you can see we have the arrows we want it going this way so that bottom arrow is fine it's connected to that pipe so that's all good <coughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and connect up excuse me sorry I'm not clear my throat there we're trying to uh, connect up this pipe next is what we're going to do. As a matter of fact, I can just go ahead and do that. And uh, once you have this connected, you know, what, let me go grab my portable light. Let's see if that can help us out a little bit here. I went ahead and charged up a battery. Throw that in here. And then we can grab this thing. I, I like these lights. They're, they're handy. They're not too expensive to print. And as you will see here in a second, they, they work pretty decent. So, let's continue on here and get this going. We want to go ahead and... Pretty simple stuff. And we're going to want to run this line all the way down here. And here's where your volume pump is going to come in. And you want the arrows facing this way. If I can figure out. There we go. It's going to have to be upside down. So there we go. It's just easier to be able to read it. You know, you can flip it however you want. The best way for you to power it up. For this setup, I think this works best. The power running at the top here. So, we're going to want to run... our pipe into the back of this regulator here. Get it done. Okay. And then the pipes going into the base are going to come out the front of this here. So 
see that right here. This is what's going to run into the base and supply our lovely atmosphere. All right. And with the mixer here, we're going to want, since input 2, which is the bottom input, is going to be CO2, we're going to want that at 10% because, or 20, I mean it don't have to be 10, uh, but you don't, I don't think you need much more than that, so this would be fine. And then the 90%, which is the input 2 right here, coming in this way, is going to be our oxygen and our nitrogen. And you don't need a fine mix of that, 90% um, mix, or it, it, you can technically breathe. 100% oxygen. It's just not great for long periods of time. You know, Earth we have a roughly 30% oxygen, 70% nitrogen mix type thing, or something similar to that. It's it's. I'm sure there's CO2 and some other gases mixed in there that I'm not thinking about. But the point is, is you don't have to have it exactly the way Earth has it or the way you breathe it. You just need to have oxygen, nitrogen, and a little bit of CO2 if you want to grow some plants. So. Maybe later they'll make that a little more detailed on how what you need, but right now it seems to work fine this way. So, all right. Um, now that we have this set up, I'm going to go ahead and run a few wires and set up a few more things for you, and that way we can uh, continue moving on with the video here and not make this too long. So I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back. Here's what I was trying to show you with the power is you can easily just fit a line down the back here, hook everything up. Just make sure you run your wires up so you can hook up your power all your machines. I'm going to need to run this one up and around, but I'm going to need more cable and stuff. But I wanted to make sure you got the picture here, which, all right. Now, I also wanted to go ahead and do this. And this is just a visual reference. Now I'll probably, if I run the pipe further, which maybe I'll do real quick, because it's going to go into the base, which as you're going to see, this is going to be the greenhouse over here. So we're just going to, and this isn't necessary, but I like to do it. And to save paint, I like to go ahead and just put the stripes on there. Okay, let me throw that in my backpack. The next thing I wanted to do here is uh, finish showing how this is going to hook up, which what's going to happen here, since I set it up this way, we need to run the pipe. This is going to go straight out into the base, because this is going to be our back pressure coming in, so this will be the vacuum side. this down I guess that would be a good way to do it and we're gonna wanna get it to come in over on this side of the filtration system right here And of course I wasn't paying attention, so you're going to want to actually not do it that exact way. Probably like this would be better, since I wasn't thinking about that. And that's another thing you got to do keep in mind, is you're going to have to run pipes and cable, and you want to make sure that you're going to have room for both. So, it's something you need to be very... Sometimes the angles you're at, it's hard to see stuff, so forget that it's there. All right. So let's connect this in. Oh, there goes our sun. So the vacuum, the back pressure is going to come through here. It's going to hit our back pressure regulator. And once it hits, uh, let's do 55, because we're going to do about 50 pressure pulsing in on the pressure regulator. Then we're going to have about 55 on the back pressure regulator. And that, when the pressure hits 55, it should be letting through anything excess of that, which is going to send it back into our filtration system. And it's going to loop through everything. And it's going to come out up here, go through our volume pump, head into our pressure regulator, and shoot it into the base. Into the. Okay. 
before we get too dark here, I guess it's already as dark as it's going to get, but before it gets too late here, let me quickly try to show you what I'm doing here. Now this is going to be these stairs are big. This is going to be the greenhouse right here. So what you're going to need is the construction kit walls if you're doing the steel. It's much more resource efficient to do the steel. So I recommend making yourself the construction kits uh, walls instead of making iron walls and iron frames. Um, you're going to want the steel. Actually, I'm not going to need a window there. And this is all going to be windowed out in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and I will be right back. Alright, and I'm back again. Now, again, trying to make this as quick and possible for this video, so I don't want to show all the extra little things I'm doing. If there's anything I'm not showing you that I'm that you want to see, let me know. I will try to explain things better, or you know, hopefully help you figure out what you need to figure out. But so far, as you can see, I went ahead and moved on to the next level of the base here, and how I personally have designed this. I you know I like a little bit of a view, so living quarters area you'll be able to look down on your greenhouse with satisfaction and comfort knowing that all your plants are growing and you're not gonna die so other than that I'm gonna go ahead and add some walls in for here and over here and you're going to need a good amount of construction kit walls um, steel sheets and steel frames uh, it's unfortunately what you have to do if you want to build something a decent size so and then you gotta have not only the walls but then you gotta make your roof here so that takes even more so as you can see I'm gonna run out here but you're getting the basic gist of what's going on this is going to be the next level we're gonna have some windows here looking over everything I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this is here in just a second so let me grab my stairs and I can go ahead and show you where I'm putting the first door here and the other door now again you can use whatever doors you want the composite works just fine I'm gonna go ahead and do the glass because well I like the glass at the greenhouse All right, pull that open and as you can see so we're gonna this area is the entrance and exit to the greenhouse is going to be over here so and then we're going to put another door in right here. Let me get that. And then stairs. Alrighty. And as you can see, this is going to be our... This is actually going to be the entrance to the base right here. This is going to be the airlock. And I will grab the airlock doors real quick so you can see what I'm talking about exactly. We're going to want to put all these gizmos in there, but that's all going to be in another video. I'm going to just show the basic setup here. Speaking of that, I plan on doing at least two more videos. I'm going to try to show how to set up the airlock, that kind of stuff, how I run my piping. And then I want to do another video when I set up my manufacturing area. So I can't guarantee when I'll have them up, but hopefully it won't be too long. And let's put those here. And like usual, let's grab out our crowbar. Just open these bad boys up. All right, and we're gonna have walls here, roof here. Uh, I'd have to print out some more construction kits. Same thing here. We're gonna have walls, and so there you go. I'm gonna have to add some stairs in over here. We're gonna, you know, you come in here, head up this way, and then you're gonna head into what's going to be the living quarters area, and down into your greenhouse. All right. Now, with as far as the atmospherics go, which was the main point of this video, they're going to be run in down here down the sides, 
and we're going to put some vents in on each side and I'm going to have that video up hopefully by tomorrow or the day after so we'll go ahead and get the rest of this done